back to my channel. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my second trimester, which is so long overdue. Now, I'm currently in my third trimester, but this video is long overdue, and it only makes sense that I um, get on top of it and do it. So that is what we're going to do. Before we get started, I'm going to share with you guys this hair that I got. I bet you thought it was mine. I bet you did. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's jump right into this video about this hair first. I'm going to be featuring some hair. Is that even some hair? A wig from a company called um, Yolissa. This is a full 360 wig. I know you're probably saying, girl, you do not need a 360 wig. But guys, I understand like I don't need wigs, but I like them. I like wearing them because they're like a protective style for me. I am pregnant and I'm lazy to do my hair. Like I don't want to do my hair. I don't think you guys understand. Like I can't tell you I actually the last time I did a proper take your time, put the curly products in your hair type of video. So I like them. This wig that I have on my hair is a 14 inch wig. Um, okay, so when I ordered the, the length, I was actually planning to go short. I wanted like a, a bob. I'm not even mad with this length because um, I've been contemplating to cut my natural hair. Like right now my hair is literally down to my waist. And I've been contemplating on um, cutting it. Like I really want to cut my hair. So with this wig, I guess I don't have to cut my hair and I can just fling this on. And um, another thing is I've been wanting to straighten my hair to see how, one, to see how long it is. And two, because I want to add some wand curls. Keisha wander hair and it looks so cute. So I'm like, I want to wand my hair too. But now with this wig, I can kind of like, you know, play around with it. I can wand it. I can do whatever I want to do with it. And not have to worry about damaging my hair. <laughs> so as you guys can see, um, I did show a clip where I'm going to be inserting a clip to show the curls before I brush them out. This is after I brushed out the curls because I kind of wanted more of like a full look. I thought the curls looked too perfect and I didn't want that. I more wanted like a beach wavy full look i don't like when my hair is like too perfect you feel me so um i just took my brush my teaser and my teaser brush and i just brushed out the curls and this is how it looks it does look really full and it also does look really natural i just pull out like these little curls to kind of give me like a maybe i pulled out too much so like i said before it is a 360 wig so it goes all the way around you can do any type of style that you want i personally wouldn't wear it up in a bun or like do all that 360 stuff but if you if that's what you want to do like that's fine you can do all that this this wig is very versatile as well i'm a beginner i'm a beginner when it comes to wigs and usually my friend helps me i've said that before and this wig was not hard to apply i literally just braided my hair in two and popped it on um as you can tell i'm just really like really beginner and it had it came with clips in it it had clips in it which made it easy to attach to your hair and it also had an adjustable band in it which i really like because i don't know the size of my head i hate when you go on websites and you have to know the size of your head which i think is weird but i don't know the size of my head so with the adjustable band i can like adjust it to my head size my head is really small it's a plus for me what i have on is the loose deep wave wig and it's 180 percent um in density um i kind of wish i got it longer now because i mean the curls are so pretty well, the curls are kind of gone, but I just like how it looks. Like the, It had like this nice wavy look. Is That's what I like about it. So with the shipping, it was pretty fast. Um, I think it got here within three days, and it was shipped by DHL. I didn't have any problems with the shipping. Um, the package wasn't ruined or nothing. It does have that weave smell. I always talk about the weave smell, so I actually can't wait to wash it. Um, the hair is very soft. My fingers literally just slide right through it. And it looks very, 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 very natural. Like I said, I always say this in my my videos that I do with my wigs like if I'm wearing wigs or weaves whatever like they have to look natural if they don't look natural like I'm I'm not about that life I really not that but I'm not about that life and I like wigs that are kind of like easy to apply especially when you don't really know much about wigs um I didn't really have that much problem with it again I'm not a pro when it comes to putting on wigs I'm still learning I'm like really in the, the beginner stage but this wasn't that bad to put on it was really easy I low-key hate cutting off the lace part. Like, that's the scariest part because I'm so scared I'm going to mess up the hair. But... Overall, I feel like the quality of this hair is really good. It's really soft and it literally feels like my natural hair. That's what I really, really, really love about it. I love that it feels like my natural hair. If, you, if you're interested in this hair, you can definitely check out my description box down below. And you'll see the link for this hair 
uh, specifically and also to their website. I'm, sure I'm going to have some kind of like discount codes going on in my description box as well. So definitely check that out. Okay, so now on to my second trimester. So I am in my second trimester and second trimester has been really great to me. It's been smooth. Sorry, um, as you can see, I burp a lot. It's been way better than my first trimester. Thank you, Jesus, because my first trimester was not good. And I have no complaints, really. Um, it was definitely a big transition from first to second. I some notes on some stuff. Like, so I, I will be looking at my phone just because I have pregnancy brain. So let's get started. In my second trimester, I wasn't as nauseous as I was in my first trimester. The only only times I was nauseous is when I would smell like fried food, or if um, I noticed when I ate oxtail or like stewed beef, it it would sit on my chest and it would make me feel nauseous. Literally, like I felt like I was gonna throw up, but I never actually threw up. So I just more had like that nauseous feeling with like certain stuff that I ate. Um, I had really bad heartburn. In my first trimester, I had heartburn. But in my second trimester, my heartburn got worse. It was really bad. Like, I literally live off Tums. It's, like, literally on my side table right there. Like, Tums was literally my best friend. Um, I drank milk, but I felt like the milk never really helped me as much. The Tums really helped, but I don't like... I actually hate Tums. I hate Tums. I hate that you have to chew up this big-ass tablet. It doesn't have a nice taste, so... I had really bad heartburn and it, yeah, it was just really bad. Like even there was times I would burp, like I'll eat something and then burp and my heart, like my chest would just burn. That's how bad it was. There was times when I couldn't even sleep to how bad my heartburn was. So I had really bad heartburn in my second trimester. Um, another thing is that I had nosebleed. I can't tell you the last time I had a nosebleed. Last time I had a nosebleed was like literally a couple years ago. But in my second trimester, I noticed that I was getting them often. And the worst thing is I have white sheets on my bed, white pillowcase. And I'd wake up thinking my nose is running. Like, I, I would think it's allergies, but really my nose gushing blood. So that's another thing that I noticed, and I brought it up to my OB. And supposedly it's normal, but, um, yeah. So I had uh, nosebleeds, as well as when I was brushing my teeth, my gums would bleed. Not a lot, but, like, moderately. So... I went to my dentist about that and they told me I was supposed to come back for a cleaning and they said when you're pregnant you actually should go in for a cleaning but my concern is that I spit so much and I'm so scared I'm gonna choke even though they have those stupid suction things but to how I spit like I'll, I'm gonna be annoyed I know I'm just gonna be really uncomfortable and annoyed but I'm gonna book an appointment so that's another thing I had I had gum bleeds I had bleeding gums and I still do have it now which is really annoying but what can I, I can't do nothing about it. It's something that comes with pregnancy for some people. So that's another th another thing that I had. Um, obviously my belly got bigger or it's getting bigger over time. It's growing. So that obviously means that my skin is stretching. Ouch. So I got, I, I was like, I found that in my second trimester, I was super itchy. Like I was really itchy and my skin was dry. No matter how I was like oiling it, I felt like I was always dry. So I had to make my own little like, well concussion or whatever you want to call it and um i have to lather my stomach my back even like the back of my arms like i have to literally bathe myself in oil i have to be dripping oil okay i'm boosting with dripping oil but i have to make sure that i'm oiled up <laughs> um because yeah my skin just gets really itchy and it's dry i also do notice that no matter how i shave like the hair goes back super fast and i'm assuming it's with my hormones I don't know if that happened to anyone else. Ow. But I did notice that um, whenever I would shave, the hair would grow back like really, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> PMI or not? Um, my nipples were really... Okay, so in the in the first trimester, yeah, I did have tender nipples, but they weren't as bad. Like, they were bearable. In my second trimester, my nipples got really tender. I remember one day I was, like, about to take a shower, and my I was taking off my shirt, and I think my nipple... My nipple... I, my nail like grazed my nipple and it hurt so bad. So I had like super tender nipples to the point. Even when I was in the shower, I'd have to like bathe and like cover them like this with my rag. Because even the shower just hitting them, it just hurt. As for my breasts, um, I didn't really have a lot of tenderness in my breasts. It would come like randomly. But I do, I did feel a lot of like pulsing sensation. Um, like randomly. It was really weird too. Literally felt like... 
So that was another thing. And okay, I keep burping. That's another thing that I noticed. I literally burp like every freaking five minutes or whatever, or like every second. I'm still spitting, which is so annoying. And I really hope that once I give birth, the spitting stops. Because if it stays, I'll be so upset. I'll be very upset because it's really annoying. I don't like walking with the bottle to spit. And if people are telling me to like walk with the bottle, I don't like it. I don't like the whole like walk with the bottle and spitting in it. Um, so I'm always eating like gum or like candy and it's really, really, really annoying. Especially when I'm trying to sleep and I gotta be like, trying to like swallow it. Um... I did feel a lot of movements from the baby. I feel like I feel her move the most. The most I feel her move in the second trimester is at night. And it would be like four or five. It would be like, no, I lied. It would be like one, no. It will be between, it will just be late at night. Like one, it could be two, it could be three, four or five. And because she moves so much, it was just like, it would make it hard for me to sleep. And it will be uncomfortable, especially because... She'll always be on one side. So if I to stop moving, I would like toss and turn. And it would just make me feel uncomfortable. I also did experience a lot of back pain. Um, that was really annoying as well. Like, I felt like the pregnancy pillow the pregnancy pillow and the pillow didn't really help. And it just made me miserable because I just want to sleep. And it's like I can't because I just feel so uncomfortable. Um, in my second trimester, a lot of people saying like it was really kind of it was kind of early to be feeling that short of breath, but I was really short of breath. Like, I had to be put on a... Well, I was already put on an inhaler, but... Yeah, I, I was really short of breath. I have bad pregnancy brain. And the worst is when it, it's like being pregnant and being in school and having pregnancy brain. Because you have tests and stuff like that. I always forget. I felt like I went dumb with the nursing stuff. I felt like I just forgot everything. It was so bad. Like, it was so embarrassing and stuff like that. Like, I, I just hated it. I just don't like having pregnancy brain because my teacher would tell me something and then I'll forget and be like, wait, what did you say again? It was just so bad. Like, I, would, ugh, I didn't want to talk about that. I have a pregnancy brain. It was definitely, definitely bad. Um, I had night pranks. So night pranks is like night hunger. I felt like in the day, I wasn't as hungry. But when it came to the night time, I was waking up like 1 o'clock to eat. I was waking up like 3 o'clock. I was waking up like 4 or 5, 5 in the morning to eat. Like... My night pranks were just really, really bad. I was waking up all type of nights hungry. Even I went to bed and I say I had like a yogurt and some fruits. Or if I had like dinner and I'm like, hey, I'm really, f like I feel too full. By like 2, 3, I'm like waking up because I'm super hungry. Like as if I didn't eat. And the funny thing is like everyone, everyone was saying, imagine you feel like this now. Wait till you start breastfeeding because that's when you're going to be like, you're going to be like super, super hungry. <laughs> Yeah, I was eating, and like I was so scared because I'm like, oh my god, I'm eating so late, and I'm gonna gain all this weight and all this stuff. I'm, I'm so emotional. <laughs> you know, like all this emotions were just going through my head, but yeah, I, have, I was definitely hungry at night. Um, and then <laughs> an embarrassing story that happened to me. So some stuff that I craved. Um, my cravings definitely changed from my first and second trimester. In my first trimester, it was like pickles, Big Mac, and all that stuff. So in my second trimester, I still did crave Big Mac. Um, and had to have a lot of pickles. Um, and then I craved their fries. I craved their sausage McMuffin. Um, oh my gosh. And then it went into like ice cream. If you follow me on Snapchat, you even see me in my third trimester eating ice cream. But it had to be like ice cream with fruits in it. Oh my gosh. Ice cream and strawberries. I was eating strawberries like crazy with ice cream. <laughs> Sorry, um, so yeah, my craving shift, it was, it was kind of different because I haven't really, like, I eat pickles, but it will be, like, on my burgers, but to have, actually have a jar compared to how I was, like, in my first trimester and actually having a jar, it wasn't like that in my second trimester, it literally shifted to, like, fruits, like, strawberries and ice cream, so that definitely did change, but yeah, that's basically all that's been happening i can't remember anything else to really tell you guys i don't want this video to like drag on yeah that's basically it not much has changed there's still like a lot of similarities in my first and, and my second trimester um i can't think of anything right now i'm literally having like blank like pregnancy brain but at least you guys get like a little bit that get kind of get to like see a little bit of how things have changed from my first and my second trimester 
definitely enjoyed my tri my second trimester. It felt like a breeze. Like I was I was good. I was like you know. Um, but yeah, let me know down below how your second trimester was like was it different than your first trimester? Or do you feel like your first and second trimester were like the same because I know for some people like It will change and then for some people it won't let me know down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I actually can't believe like My pregnancy is slowly coming to an end like it's it's flying. It's literally flying Okay, I actually can't believe it, but I'm so excited so excited to meet her. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> I can't even show you guys a belly shot. Because technically, like, as I'm filming this, I'm not even in my second trimester. <laughs> Yo,